India's Defence Research and Development Organisation has successfully completed all developmental trials of its latest man-portable anti-tank guided missile system, the MPATGM. The state-of-the-art missile system has so far undergone numerous tests and has demonstrated its ability to successfully meet the complete operational parameters requested by the Indian Armed Forces. The MPATGM is a comprehensive weapon system consisting of a missile launcher, a target acquisition device, and a fire control unit. It is a third-generation fire-and-forget anti-tank guided missile that's been derived from India's NAG anti-tank missile. The launch unit of the MPATGM weighs 14.25 kilograms and incorporates a laser designator with an all-weather digital sighting system. The missile is armed with a tandem high-explosive anti-tank warhead and is effective at ranges from 200 to 4,000 meters. It uses a dual-mode seeker for guidance and is capable of engaging targets in direct attack as well as top attack modes. The MPATGM is expected to undergo user trials soon, following which it would be cleared for induction into the Indian Armed Forces. South Korean defense firm Hanwha Aerospace has recently delivered 18 units of the K-239 Chunmu multiple rocket launcher systems to the Polish Armed Forces. The delivery of this initial batch is a part of a larger contract which includes the delivery of 218 units. The Polish Army's Chunmu systems are customized with a command and control system consisting of the Topaz Integrated Combat Management System, the Phone Digital Communication Platform, and radio communication sets. The Chunmu is amongst the most versatile multiple launch rocket systems in the world and comes equipped with two launch pods capable of firing a variety of rockets including 131mm, 227mm and 239mm variants. It is effective at ranges from 36 kilometers to around 80 kilometers. The system can also be configured to launch 400mm GPS-guided rockets, as well as 600mm short-ranged tactical ballistic missiles. The K-239 Chunmu comes mounted on an 8x8 truck chassis and is capable of traversing at around 90 km per hour. Poland is hereafter expected to receive 36 additional Chunmu systems by the end of 2024. Russia is believed to have conducted firing tests of a new variant of the Topol Intercontinental Ballistic Missile from the Kapustin Yar Cosmodrome on April 12, 2024. Though the details of the test have not yet been fully revealed, the Russian media did confirm the testing of a mobile ground system. The Topol missile is a mobile intercontinental ballistic missile and has been in service since 1985. It is a three-stage solid-fueled missile and possesses a range in excess of 10,000 kilometers. The missile is capable of being armed with a conventional or a nuclear warhead, and its mobile design allows it to be launched from unpredictable locations. The Topol M is the most advanced variant of the Topol missile and boasts of advanced stealth features as well as sophisticated countermeasures that allow it to penetrate through missile defense systems. The Russian Defense Ministry stated that the recent test was aimed at demonstrating the high reliability of the missiles, thereby ensuring the country's strategic security. The Hungarian Defense Forces have received the first of two Embraer KC-390 Millennium military transport aircrafts on the 12th of April 2024. The procurement of these aircrafts is aimed at replacing the Antonov An-26 transport planes that were in service with the Hungarian Defense Forces till 2020. The KC-390 Millennium is a state-of-the-art military transport aircraft developed by the Brazilian aerospace manufacturer Embraer. It can carry a maximum payload of 26 tons and can transport up to 80 troops or 64 paratroopers. It boasts of a maximum speed of 870 kilometers per hour and an operational range of 6,500 kilometers that can be enhanced further with air-to-air -air refueling. The KC-390 is scheduled to remain in Hungary for three weeks of testing before being sent back to Embraer's facilities for the final assembly. 
Hungary is expected to receive its second KC-390 in 2025. General Dynamics European Land Systems has unveiled a new variant of the Piranha wheeled armored vehicle called the Piranha Heavy Mission Carrier. The Piranha is a family of 8x8 eight eight armored vehicles consisting of five variants designed to meet the specific military requirements across various weight categories. The new Piranha Heavy Mission Carrier is a 10x10 10 10 all-wheel drive platform that boasts of a payload capacity of up to 17 tons. It weighs around 40 tons overall and has been designed to be compliant with European road regulations. The Piranha family of armored vehicles is currently in service with over 20 countries around the globe and the new variant promises to address the evolving payload and space requirements of the modern battlefield.